Welcome to this autumn themed yoga flow sequence. We're going to be working with the breath, stabilizing poses in autumn. We can feel quite ungrounded if there's a lot of wind in the area that we're living. And it's also just a really wonderful time to let go and just surrender and finding the inner stillness and calm as we transition into winter. So for today's class, I recommend you find somewhere calm and quiet where you can practice yoga. You can build your own little yoga sanctuary. So you might want to have some blankets, uh, pillows, some warm, cozy clothes around. Anything that can help you feel warm and safe. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, it would really mean a lot to me if you could please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and share the video with whoever you feel could benefit. So as mentioned before, the theme for today is on autumn and we'll be using acceptance and letting go as the theme to flow through the class. So let's begin today's class in a comfortable seated position. You can let the shoulders draw away from the ears Take a moment to take a deep breath in through the nose and sigh it out. Perhaps closing the eyes, taking a moment to notice the sounds and the temperature, the air around you. Feeling the gentle rise and fall of the chest. And you can keep the eyes closed or open. So for setting an intention or a sankalpa for the class, think about what you want to accept and what you're ready to let go. During the autumn months, we can look to nature with trees that are stripping away anything that isn't necessary for survival so any fruits and leaves everything that no longer serves let it go and accept the things that need to be accepted so taking a moment to notice any thoughts you might be having any feelings any experiences that you're working through often it's not a nice feeling to think about our emotions that are painful maybe you were anxious or we're dealing with situations we'd rather not like to but by taking the time to simply observe them not labeling them as good or bad or trying to sweep them under the rug we're creating space for them to be and this is a very important step to eventually let them drift off or not clinging to these feelings. Sometimes that helps them actually stay closer by, which might be the opposite of what we're wanting. So try not to attach any feelings of dislike, liking, wanting, not wanting. Just create the space for these feelings, situations, thoughts, emotions. And this is actually one of the first stages of Pratyahara, one of the eight limbs of yoga, sense withdrawal. And we can look at our mind's habitual way of thinking about the world, seeing the world, what we notice, and just acknowledge this, become aware of it, and then draw our attention inward. So it helps our mind calm and still a bit. So just taking the time now, you can close the eyes, focus on the breath, focus on the sounds in the room around you, the temperature of the air, feeling the sit bones rooting through onto the mat. And just observing what comes up for you, 
what feelings, maybe there's nothing, I'm just creating space for it to be. All of these things are part of what makes our life, our life. They're not defining stories of our life, but they're simply things that have drifted into our life. And perhaps we have the choice to let them drift out of our life with the autumn breeze, or perhaps there are things we'd like to hold on for a little while longer. Maybe we don't know what we want to do with them. But just tuning back to the breath. If you feel yourself flowing and running away with these thoughts, feelings and emotions. And take a moment to think about if you'd like to hold on to them, if you'd like to work through them, or if you'd simply like to let them go, imagine that thought or feeling situation as a leaf on a beautiful big tree. And the wind is coming through gently the leaf just plucks off the branch and blows away in the wind no longer serves or perhaps this is a feeling or situation that you'd like to accept maybe it needs to close off a bit for the winter months and lie dormant Maybe it's some, simply something that's part of your natural structure now. So it might be a new twig or branch on your tree of life. So bringing this intention or sankalpa to your heart space now. Really feel this intention in your chest area. You can close the eyes. And silently or out loud, repeating your sankalpa to yourself. I like to place my hands on my heart space to really feel my sankalpa. And then gently opening the eyes. So coming to stand, we're going to Flick out the fingers and the toes. Me jumping on the spot, bringing a bit of movement into the class, shaking it out. No one's looking. So just, even if it feels a bit silly, we're having a little dance party, shaking it off, releasing, letting go finding stillness, rooting through the toes, facing you this way, and finding mountain pose, so big toes touching, toes are splayed out, lifting all 10 toes and placing them on the mat, nice tall spine, pelvis tilted slightly forward, shoulders up and away from the ears, and then just sink into the earth. Inhale deeply through the nose and exhale out with a sigh, <sighs> releasing the shoulders. Inhale and exhale. <sighs> nice. <laughs> I don't know, I just love, love all these little shaky things. Reminds me of my little dog when she walks past other dogs and she gets a bit like frightened and wound up she just shakes it all off and then she's good to go so yeah maybe we can do that too to just release anything we don't want to hold on to through all ten toes so you're slightly wider than hip width distance apart a little micro bend in the knee and then all you do is swing your arms from side to side so you just let the arms swing and the hands can bounce off the glutes, the bums, 
maybe even a bit higher on the lower back. So you're just finding the rotation from this part of the body here. So you're just rotating, giving yourself a gentle twist and tap. Wakes up the body, stimulates the internal organs. It just feels kind of fun. I really love it. You can either just keep the head straight, gazing forward, or you can move the head with each rotation. This is also really good for eye strength. We're taking in our world view, which we're changing quite rapidly. And helping work on our balance, but obviously if this makes you feel a bit nauseous or dizzy, come out of it or just look straight ahead. And then to round it off, you just gently, slowly bring the arms to stillness. <laughs> and we'll be doing one round of sun salutation because why not? Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, folding forward from the hips, finding forward fold, big toes touching. Maybe you have a slight bend in the knee. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips on the mat or on the shins, straight flat back, open the chest. Exhale, plant the palms, step the feet back into plank, nice straight line all the way from the heels, engaging the glutes and the core muscles. Then keep those tucked, lowering yourself all the way down onto the belly. Inhale, coming into baby cobra, the hands are underneath the shoulders, pressing the backs of the feet firmly into the mat, the pelvis into the mat, gazing forward, tucking the back toes, rolling through all fours on the knees, and then tucking the toes, hips up and back, downward facing dog, straightening out the legs, pedaling out the knees, the feet, shaking the head yes and no. And finding stillness, two deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Stepping the feet forward towards the hands. Inhale, finding your halfway lift. And exhale, fold it forward, release into Uttanasana. Let it go. And then inhale, rolling the vertebra up. All the way, arms overhead, palms to touch, hands in prayer at heart center, back into mountain pose. So finding a comfortable cross-legged position on your mat. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead, fingertips to touch and bringing the hands in prayer all the way through heart center. Gently bowing the head towards the fingertips, calling back your intention or sankalpa. And then inhaling, sweeping the arms up, right fingertips come down onto the mat, inhale, lengthen the left fingertips, stretch up and overhead, and gaze to the right hand, up towards the left fingertips, finding Length all the way from the left fingertips to the left sit bones, rooting through. And inhale, coming back through center, both fingertips to touch. And exhale, left fingertips float down on the mat. Inhale to lengthen the right fingertips up and overhead, stretching over to the left side, gazing to the right fingers or down to the left hand thinking about actively pressing the right sit bones onto the mat and inhale coming back through center and then placing the right fingertips on the knee left fingertips float back gazing over the left shoulder twisting up and over and then exhale raising both arms up Exhale, left hand comes onto right knee, right fingertips float back. Inhale to lengthen the spine and exhale, gazing over the right shoulder. Inhale, untwisting, raising the arms up and exhale, 
hands rest on the lap, rotating out the shoulders, doing the neck a roll so the chin draws towards the chest, so rotating the neck in one direction, drawing circles, feeling into each of the vertebra at the top of the neck, and changing direction. Really taking the time to feel into the movement and finding back to stillness. Inhale, raising the arms up, gazing to the fingertips and exhale, coming back onto all fours, finding a tabletop position, rooting through the hands. The hands are flat underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. And inhale, flowing through a few rounds of cat cow, warming up the vertebra. The exhalation pushes the floor away, doming the upper spine. Inhale, coming into cow pose, the navel draws towards the earth. Exhale, cat pose, really feeling the spaciousness created across the shoulder blades. Inhale, cow pose, and flowing through. A few rounds, using your breath as the guide. Inhale, cow, and exhale, cat. You might want to freestyle here a bit, so drawing big circles with the hips in one direction, and then changing direction. The hips draw in the opposite direction. Finding stillness and then maybe rocking backwards and forwards. The back toes can be tucked or feet flat on the mat and then rocking backwards and forwards, keeping the core muscles nice and engaged, warming up the wrists. And remembering to breathe here, maybe rocking over one side, so coming through one side back towards the heels and then coming around the other side forward back and just freestyle here a bit tune into your body notice where you might be holding tension maybe rocking the hips from side to side and then from here rooting through all ten fingers tucking the back toes and lifting the hips up and back into downward facing dog, pedaling out the feet, feeling into the backs of the calves, and then straightening out, drawing the heels towards the earth, the head hands heavy between the arms. And exhale, coming onto the tips of the toes. Exhale, heels towards the mat. Inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, drawing the heels down towards the mat. Making back through all fours. Coming back onto the knees. Preparing for camel pose. If you have any lower back injuries or problems in the back, just stay where you are here. So on the knees, hands on the hips, rooting through the feet and the knees. And if you'd like to move into camel pose, you can push the hips forward, hands on hips, opening up the chest, gazing slightly forward. Maybe the left hand comes onto the left ankle. Right hand can raise. And pressing the hips back up and switching sides so right hand onto right ankle lifting the left arm up so pushing the hips forward and then coming back to find a straight spine taking a moment here to adjust checking that the knees are underneath the hips and then you can walk the hands to back of the spine and then arching the spine, pressing the hips forward, shoulder blades draw back towards one another, 
And then bringing the hands onto the feet. If this is within your practice, keeping the neck protected so not letting it loll back. And breathing space into your camel pose here. Using this back bend and heart opener to open yourself up to new possibilities and letting go. And pressing yourself back up, finding a straight spine, releasing tension in the spine, coming back through all fours, rocking gently backwards and forwards, and then melting the heart down onto the mat, coming into melting heart pose. The hands are face down on the mat, hips are above the knees, forehead can rest on the mat or on top of the block. And then melting the heart down onto the mat. And letting go, starting to recall your intention, your sankalpa. Perhaps you've already identified something you'd like to let go of. So releasing it into the earth. Perhaps you haven't identified something. Simply letting the exhalation melt the tension and releasing it to the earth. And then from here, lowering the bum towards the heels, coming into extended child's pose. You can hold the knees together or gap between the knees. Letting the forehead and the forearms rest on the earth. Again, tuning in with the sensations in the body, the sounds of any things in your environment. Perhaps you can hear your heart beating in your chest. And slowly raising yourself up. Going to sit on the heels. Inhale, sweeping the arms up and overhead. And exhale, hands to prayer at heart center. Coming back through. All fours, tabletop position, tucking the toes, pressing the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Keeping the hips squared, so pointing the right toes. And then exhale, right knee draws between the hands, walking the foot between the hands, finding a high lunge position, and then dropping the left knee and tucking the toes, low lunge. Inhale, raising the arms up and overhead, forming a mudra with the hand. So the index finger and the thumbs are pressed together and the other three fingers are wrapped around one another. Inhale, lifting yourself. Letting the left hip melt towards the earth. Opening up the chest a little bit further. And then exhale, placing the palms to frame the right foot, tucking the left toes and pressing yourself back into down and facing dog, pedaling out the feet, shaking the head yes and no, taking a moment to find stillness, strong and rooted through all four points of contact with the earth, and then inhale, lifting the left toes all the way to the sky, three-legged dog, keeping hips squared, point the left toes, and then with the inhalation, drawing the left knee all the way under the body between the hands, step it into higher plank, and then dropping, <laughs> high lunge, dropping the right knees, coming into low lunge, pressing the hips down, 
finding your mudra and sweep the arms up and overhead think about sinking the hips and the shoulders down towards the earth while simultaneously pressing the hips forward opening up across the chest and gaze forward or up towards the hands remembering to breathe and melt with the exhalation and then with the exhalation framing the front foot tucking the right toes stepping the left foot back into downward facing dog and we're here for five deep breaths in through the nose and out taking a cleansing breath in through the nose and sighing it out through the mouth Pedal out the feet, perhaps bending into one leg, gazing under one armpit, and then switch inside, so bending into the opposite knee. I'm getting stuck here in my jumper. And taking another deep breath in and out. Tucking onto the knees, keeping the legs wide, untucking the toes, and then melting the heart down into child's pose, arms up and overhead. And from here, you can walk the knees together, melting back down into child's pose, wrapping opposite hands over opposite elbows if this feels nice then you can gently start to rock onto the crown of the head and then exhale releasing coming back through to sit on the heels and then swinging the legs out around, shimming the bum to the top of the mat, hugging the arms around the knees. And exhale slowly, one vertebra at a time, rolling yourself all the way onto the back, hugging the knees into the chest, rolling out on the low spine. And then coming into happy baby, grabbing the outside edges of the feet, drawing the knees towards the armpits, and just letting the legs sink towards the earth, feel the stretch across the inside edges of the hips backs of the thighs, toes, you can point and flex the toes, you can squeeze the bottom of the feet, squeeze all the way down the bottoms of the calves, and then walking the knees towards one another, so the back is completely zipped against the earth, really rooting through opening up the arms in a cactus shape the knees are bent and then flexing the toes and pointing flex and point you can straighten out the legs or keep them bent point and flex point and flex and opening up into a V shape the arms can stay in a cactus shape or they can float straight up so again palms are facing one another lower back against the mat legs open as wide as feels comfortable in this flying wide-legged random pose here 
maybe this does not feel good to you, you can always come out of the pose. Just exploring what this feels in your body where you're holding tension. We bend the knees a bit. And then coming out, releasing the feet onto the mat, arms alongside the body, and then gently letting the knees rock from one side to the other side. And go of any tension in the lower spine. And then from here, bringing the bottoms of the feet together into a butterfly shape, the knees fall away from the midline. Palms facing up, closing down the eyes, and tuning in with the breath. Releasing anything that no longer serves you. And then stretching out the left leg flat against the mat. Bringing the right inner edge of the foot to the inside of the left thigh, coming into a sleeping tree pose, which is so fitting for autumn. You can keep one hand on the belly, one on the heart, or you can open up the arms, opening up the heart space. So a V shape with the arms up and overhead, arms facing up. And letting the left knee, right knee, all the way from the midline. Accepting things as exactly as they are. Letting go of those things that you know just not worth clinging on to. And stretching out the right leg, swapping sides, left foot comes to the inner edge of the right thigh, maybe calf, depending on how you're feeling today. Imagining all of those thoughts, feelings, emotions, situations, whatever baggage that you're holding on to, imagine it as all the different leaves on your tree. And these leaves are changing color, oranges, yellows, reds, golden leaves. And they served their purpose, but are no longer needed. I'm preparing to let them go because an autumn wind is starting to blow through your canopy and the leaves are being shaken off and carried away with the wind. And exhale, releasing the legs, shaking out the legs, preparing for Shavasana, maybe you'd like to get some pillows, some blankets, anything to get cozy, feel quite exposed during this time of year, so I really encourage you to find something warm or heavy that you can place on yourself to make yourself feel comfy and protected. So once you find your lying down position, placing one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart.
taking time to notice the gaps between thoughts. Observe the thoughts. Let them drift away. Each time you notice gaps between the words, gaps between the thoughts, the gaps between the sounds in your environment. That's when you're coming home to your core, your inner essence. Let it go now. Just fully surrender, release, you're held and safe in the space. Ease and peace are washing over you and through your whole being. Every moment of your life up to now has led you to this exact point. Starting to deepen the breath, gently inviting movement back into the body if it feels right. Perhaps you have a bit more time, in which case I highly recommend taking a bit more time for yourself in the stillness. But if you're ready to come out of Shavasana and I'll start to gently rub the thumb along the outside of the other fingers, wriggle the toes, rotate the hands and the wrists, the ankles and feet, and stretch the arms up an overhead pointing the toes finding a full body stretch awakening the body hugging the knees into the chest giving yourself a nice squeeze and then gently rocking onto your favorite side forming a pillow with the arms coming to a cozy fetal position, keeping the eyes closed for now. And with a deep exhalation, releasing one final time everything that you no longer want to carry with you into the day. Gently pressing yourself up into a seated position, keeping the eyes closed. A nice straight spine, the hands can rest in the lap. Really feel into the body, the feelings you have cultivated today, bringing the hands in prayer to heart center, recalling your sankalpa or intention for today, 
drawing the sides of the mouth into a smile, gently opening the eyes, gazing down at the fingertips, and filling your heart with gratitude for making the time to do something for your well being today. As always, it is such a pleasure and an honor to practice with you today. I hope you have a beautiful day that you are able to live in tune with the autumn season maybe when you're on your walk at some point in the next few days take a time to notice the changing colors of the leaves maybe it'll remind you of the things that you've let go of as you see the leaves blow away in the wind namaste if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do it really helps give the video a little thumbs up and share this practice with anyone you feel could also benefit from letting go i hope you have a beautiful day lots of love i started this yoga channel a couple of months ago and i'm just blown away by how many people i've been able to reach and i hope that you benefit from these classes I'm just doing this out of the love of sharing yoga. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Also a big special thank you to Complete Unity Yoga who gifted me this mat a number of months ago now. And I just absolutely love this yoga mat. It's so grippy. Um, it's made of sustainable products. So natural rubber and jute fibers and they plant trees for every mat that's purchased. So if you're in the UK and you're looking to treat yourself or someone, maybe you're on top of your Christmas shopping list already, then I could definitely recommend these mats. And in the description box below, I'll put my discount code so you can benefit from that too.